What's going on everybody? Welcome back to this episode of G4 Outdoors. Today we're going to be doing a review on one of the mowers I'm most excited about from Toro. That's the Toro Dual Force Time Master. Well, here's a little story about two friends that came together And we started up a YouTube just to talk about whatever We're on a boat catching big bass and smashing them cats From review videos to just making you laugh Cause we got guns, we got knives, we got fishing, we got hunting We got everything you like, so hit that subscribe button We're in the outdoors, doing things that we love We're talking guitars, girls, green grass, and guns now, why am I most excited about the Toro Dual Force Time Master? It's the 30 inch cut. I cannot stand push mowing. So when it comes to the 21, 22 inch mowers, it's just not fun to me. Go back and forth and back and forth on these yards. A 30 inch, you're going to get work done. Now, something else to take note of with the 30 inch, this does have the staggered blades under here. They are the atomic blades. So they're extremely sharp. Plus they have mulching tips on the top of them. So you're really gonna cut that grass up, mulch it up. You're gonna have a lot finer clippings that are going to go into your bagger, which means more time bagging and less time dumping your bag. So along with the atomic blades under here, there are two of them. They are staggered and timed. What this is gonna do is give you an overlap of each one of those cuts. It's gonna give you a lot better cut. Most of the other mowers that have dual blades under them, you're gonna have a minimal amount of gap in between of those so that they can have clearance to get across, which you could wind up having some stragglers. The possibilities are kind of low, but it does happen. But with the staggered blades and they do overlap, you're gonna get a 100% cut. With the 30 inch wide deck and the staggered blades, that's gonna give you a minimal amount of front to back distance. So with this handle folded forward in the storage position, it's gonna give you just as much room as the tow and stow systems on the 21 and 22 inch mower. Now up here on the front with your side discharge system, this mower does not keep the grass inside. It doesn't keep it in there, keep it mulching it up. This mower gets the grass directly out of that chute, so it does not spend any time under that deck except for being cut. Other mowers in this category, they'll keep the grass under there, and if you run through some thick grass, you'll notice that grass stays up under there. Your mower starts to bog down a little bit. With this side discharging system coming directly out of the front and getting the grass out of there, you're not gonna be bogging down and you're gonna be able to cut a lot more grass a lot more quickly. This also has cast aluminum spindles on it. These spindles are commercial grade spindles. They are actually the same spindles that are used on the time cutter, which is a commercial grade mower. One of my favorite features on all of the Toro push mowers is the personal pace system. All you do is push this handle forward and it actually moves forward at your personal pace. So however fast you wanna walk, you're just pushing on those handles. There's no effort into it, just as, as long as you're putting pressure on those handles, that's how fast the mower is going to work with you, not against you. So this does have a gigantic Briggs & Stratton motor on it. It is a 223cc motor with 10 foot-pounds of torque. This is gonna get you through some thick grass. I haven't started this or anything to find out if that's actually true, but just the numbers alone are telling me that. We'll get into that here very shortly. One thing on all of the Toro equipment is they have a guaranteed to start. How this works, I don't know, but every mower that they've sent me to review, it does pull on the first start. I have added gas to this. There's no priming these engines. There's nothing to do on them. I'm just gonna pull it and start it. Okay, honestly, I don't know how that works, but it works every time. I've got a five-year-old Toro snowblower in my garage. Every year, it fires right up. No priming, no nothing. You just put gas in it, and it fires right up. I really want to know how you guys do that. So this mower is very easy to operate. Your deck height adjustments are here on the side. One side lifts both sides. Today, I'm going to be cutting at three and a quarter inches. As you can see, that raises and lowers very easily. When you are doing this, you do want to turn your mower off so that the blades aren't spinning, nothing's going to happen. Uh, same with the front, one side adjusts both. And again, we're going to be cutting on 
C, which is three and a quarter inches. On your bagging system, it's very easy to maneuver. Uh, it's just, if you've had any other Tor Toro mower, you know that all of these options are easy to take off. The bagging system is easy on and off. The side discharge is easy on and off. Although I'm making it look hard, this is my first time. And that's on there. Now we're side discharging. Along with these tires being probably the biggest in the category, the 30 inch is definitely one of the biggest widths of push mowers that you can get in a residential line. Of course, you can jump up into the commercial grade mowers and get a walk behind with the hydraulic uh, drive systems and whatnot, but we're talking about a residential mower right here. So without actually doing a review on this yet, guys, if you're looking for a mower that's gonna get the job done quick, it's gonna get the job done right, go out and check out the Toro Time Master Dual Force. As of right now, I don't think that you will be disappointed because everything I've had from Toro so far is amazing equipment. Right now I'm currently running a Toro Time Master Zero Turn. I think it's Time Master. Uh, great mower, 54 inch with the MyRide system on it. Not a single problem that I have with that machine. So I have complete faith in Toro. Besides all that, let's get into cutting this grass and see if this thing actually lives up to what it says it is. All right, first we're gonna start off with mulching and then we're gonna run into side discharge. And then here towards the back of my yard, as you can see, I have a lot of leaves on the ground. So we're gonna run into bagging down here just to see how well it bags up all of these leaves. And that's gonna be my biggest interest in a push mower with a bagger for this time of year is just to pick up the leaves. I'm not gonna spend my time with a push mower, but I'm gonna demonstrate all of these functions with you, the mulching, the side discharge, and the bagging. Let's get at it. Okay, so if you noticed right there at the end, one thing that I really like about this that I forgot to mention is the safety stop on this. You can let go of the handlebars and the engine is going to stay running. The blades are gonna become disengaged, but the motor is still gonna be running. That gives you time to let go, pick something up, move it out of the way, and all you gotta do is re-engage those blades. Every other motor, they have a safety stop on them, so if you let go of the handlebars or handle whatever safeties, the mower shuts off and then you got to restart it. That's a lot of exercise sometimes if you're moving a lot of stuff around while you're mowing. But let's get into this mulching. Uh, if I would have overlapped a little bit, you can see where the wheel marks are where I should have overlapped just a little bit to get the mulching done properly. But it mulched this four stripes up very well. I cannot complain about any of this. Of course, this isn't the thickest of grasses or the thickest of leaves, but it definitely did a good job at mulching these up. Now I'm gonna put the side discharge on here, mow a couple more stripes, try and get all these leaves pushed down to the other side, and then we're gonna get into backing.
Okay, another thing that's coming to my attention, for that's eight passes with a 21 inch mower. I would only be done with half of this yard already. So, holy cow, if I needed a push mower, I would not hesitate one minute to go out and get this dual force 30 inch because I am seriously getting work done. This video is gonna go by way quicker than what I thought. Uh, as far as the side discharge, guaranteed the best discharge of push mowers that I have used so far. Even above all of the other Toro push mowers, this thing right here gets the grass out of the mower extremely well. Not just saying that. Uh, as you can see, these four stripes right here that I just did are clean. All of the grass is pushed off of both sides. So we're definitely getting two lines of mowing. Like, it's blowing that far over and cleaning the grass up. Of course, I ruined the other side of it, but that's what the mulching and bagging is for to get all of those clippings off. As I'm pushing along here, I'm looking at the grass as it's cutting as well. This has a very high blade tip speed, which is gonna give you a better cut. Uh, the amount of air that is able to come out of here, that's gonna give you better lift, better dispersion, better cut. Now, let's put the bagger on it and see just how good this thing gets all of these leaves into the bag. As a matter of fact, I think I'm just gonna do the whole yard. on camera doing that for real <laughs> for real that's all that there is in this bag do you guys see how well that cleaned that up I hope I have the lighting right in here I really do that just pulverizes it into dust oh I need to go get a new battery all right, so that's just a little unbelievable to me. So I'm gonna double check some things on here with you on camera to make sure everything is going right. I'm not seeing an excessive amount of leaves coming out of the sides. I'm not seeing it come out of the bottom. It's not being left behind, but why is there only a handful? I know why. <laughs> so when you get your bagger, you want to be sure and assemble it. So now that that is out of the way, uh, that's just me not reading the instructions on how to put stuff together. But as you can see though, even though this wasn't bagging, it still did an excellent job at getting rid of the leaves. Now that we're all enclosed here, now we're gonna bag the, uh, the good portion of this yard. Where'd my glasses go? Back to the show.
right, we're starting to look more like a leaf cleanup now. That's what I expected to see. likes to collect the leaves. got to say you do have to do your part in keeping the bag cleaned out so that it has plenty of suction power so initial thoughts on this the mulching system did a great job the side discharge system I think did a better job the bagging system as long as I kept it empty as you can see when I first started on the bagging it did a great job with the bag not being full but as that bag gets full your airflow decreases so this mower is not able to fill this thing 100% full and still do an excellent job. But if it was anywhere from empty to half full, which that's when you're supposed to dump your bags anyway, it does a really, really good job of bagging. And that's a lot of leaves that I picked up. So with all that being said, and before these allergies really get to me, this is a great mower. If I push mode, I would definitely buy this no hesitations i would not want a 21 or 22 inch mower it's just not worth my time you guys may be different but if you're looking for a mower that's going to get the job done quickly and in a good fashion the 30 inch dual force time master is definitely the route to go i will be using this for the rest of the year for leaf cleanups for sure there's just a lot of things i like about it first of all the personal face the personal pace is one of the best systems out there as far as not working yourself. The mower actually works for you. You're not trying to run with your mower at a certain speed. It's however fast you push that lever is how fast it's gonna go. So far, the Briggs & Stratton 223cc 10 foot-pounds of torque motor is a beast running through all of these leaves. Uh, the grass isn't tall. We're running in the fall time, so most of the grass is starting to go dormant. It's not growing very much. So I really don't have anywhere or any type of grass to test this out on to see if it will bog down or anything. I don't foresee that happening though with the dual blades in here, with the air chute or the grass disbursement being designed the way it is. It mulches fantastic. I just don't think tall grass is gonna be a problem. I really like the wheels on it. It has good traction. It's easy to turn. It is a very heavy machine. You're not gonna to wanna to pick this in and out of your truck. It is heavy, very heavy. But as far as maneuvering around corners, it does have a light pivot point. As far as the handles go, this is adjustable for either a short person, my height of a person. Uh, you can store it upright so that you can put this up against the wall. Or you can put this all the way down in a storable position under a counter of something of that sort. And like I said earlier, the with this in its storage position, it is no bigger than the Time Cutter, uh, Time Master, whatever their smaller motors are, mowers are. It takes up just as much room as one of those, even though it is a lot wider. So the power, the power is very good. The cut quality, the cut quality is actually very good. The side disbursement, I love it. Mulching, I'm not much into mulching. I would prefer to side discharge, but mulching did a great job bagging did a great job i'm not into bagging either i would rather have my clippings go back into the yard regrow a little bit of health 
So guys, that's really all I got on the Toro Time Master Dual Force 30 inch Time Master. The Briggs & Stratton 233cc 10 foot pound of torque motor is a beast. Like I can say, I don't have a very good grass to cut on to see if this thing's gonna bog down. It is in the fall time, so the thick lush grass really isn't there to see how this is gonna handle it. But the leaves and the grass that I do have here, the cut quality is very good. The mulching part of this mower is very good. The side discharge of this mower is really good. The bagging system, as long as you keep your bag about half full to empty, it's going to do a really good job for you. But as you fill that up, of course, there's a lot of weight there and everything's working against you. So if I was in need of a push mower, I would definitely skip the 21, 22 inches and I would go straight to the 30 inch. It is a beast of a mower and it gets work done really quick. And that's what I like about it is the 30 inch, it gets work done really quick and it does it really good. So guys, I really hope that I helped you make an informed decision on what you're gonna buy next. I really do hope that it is a Toro Time Master Dual Force. It's a great mower. The speed on it that you're walking behind is great. Like I say, it cuts amazing. It bags, it mulches, it discharges, and it's a Toro. Toro is known for quality products. Guys, if I brought you some good information, if I brought you some good information, please hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, leave a comment down below, and I will see you in the next one. I'm out. I'm going for a walk like I'm headed to the lake, looking for a place to go, cast my life away. When I'm on the water, only time I ever feel sane. Nod your head to what I'm saying if you understand my pain. We was looking for a crappie kitty cat or just a bass. Load him up inside my life, all golden crispy for a snack. Now my boat's broke again, no reason for me to knock it. Chalk it up to Smith, though, money straight out my pocket. pocket. Man, now, people always ask, G4 Outdoors! Why are you guys always on the water? Because that's where we're at peace!